whatever is going on for us, just stop thinking for one second and see what remains there. And we see that there's, there's this um, potency, that, that alertness that is always present in each and every moment of our life. Always present, always stable in every moment. And we see that we, we don't need to um, we, don't, we see that we don't need to change our thoughts or our experience to tap into that present, that stability that is always there in each and every moment. That we just haven't recognized that open intelligence that is the ground of all our thoughts, emotions and the sensations. The ground of all our experience. There wouldn't be any experience without open intelligence. Open intelligence and our data, and data is everything that we can perceive, so all our thoughts, emotions, and sensations, and experiences are inseparable from each other. There we see that we always have this stable ground that we can completely rely on in our experience. We don't want to rely on our um, thoughts and emotions. We all know that they are ever-changing. I mean, we can just take one day to look at our thoughts and our emotions during the day. We see we cannot hold on to them, they are changing. One second like this, one second like this, sometimes completely happy, sometimes completely sad, sometimes angry, sometimes joyous. We cannot, uh, we cannot control them, they are just popping up naturally and spontaneously. And if we want to base our actions and our well-being on them, then we will be all over the place. And, and we can just observe that for a day and see, see that we don't want to go that way anymore. We see that there's just that, that presence that is always stable there and that we, we can rely on. That is our open intelligence, the power to know, the power to act in the most beneficial way. We want to in let our, um, uh, our actions be informed by that, isn't it? I mean, I've seen when I was introduced to open intelligence, I mean, I had no idea that that was possible. I thought I am a victim of all my thoughts and emotions. I thought I had to go with them. I had to try to figure out why I had them, or I had to try to figure out, I had to try to get them uh, somehow in place that I would feel, feel well-being. So having only positive thoughts and emotion, no negative. So I was tr tr constantly trying to rearrange them in order to have well-being. And now I was introduced to something that no matter what I felt or what I thought, I al always had complete well-being. And that's just our natural state. Despite what we feel, despite what we are thinking. So we don't give them any more attention, all our thoughts, emotions and sensations. They can do whatever they like. Our stability is right there in every moment, never changing, always completely present. And. I mean, when I first heard about it and also that, that power that I always sensed that I had so much power actually and potency, but I somehow limited myself with all the ideas of I'm not good enough or I'm um, not capable enough, all the thoughts, I completely limit myself. And, but I knew somehow we are, all, we are not using that potential that we have, or at least I wasn't using it because of all my things that was going on, all the energy that went into focusing on, on my, my um, experience. So when I first heard about it, it was quite overwhelming to know that we are so powerful. And that's completely fine. We can take it step by step. You know, that's why we also have the Four Mainstays. We are training it up together, step by step. You know, getting familiar with that power that we have. We don't need to, it doesn't need to come from to, uh, today from tomorrow, full powerful. I mean, some people have that shift. But for most people, and uh, for sure for me, it was just a very gradual process. And, and just being to totally embraced and, and supported by the Four Mainstays. Because the Four Mainstays guide us to be of what will, what will be of most benefit. It will not allow us to go off in any data streams. Because we always are going to be brought back to our um, recognition in each and every moment. So we can completely trust that. And, and allowing ourselves time to get familiar with our power, with our potency, of our capacity as human beings. It's amazing. It's such a beautiful way to open up to life, to, to live a um, most beneficial life for ourselves and for others.
I mean, we are not only doing it for ourselves to feel good, or maybe that is the reason why, why you came, but that, that was the reason why I came to the training. I wanted to feel good, I wanted to feel comfortable in any situation with myself. That was my thing that I wanted. And I got so much more out of that. Now not, not only do I feel comfortable with myself in, in, in any situation, but also I'm, I totally open up to that potency that we all have, knowing more and more of what will be of most benefit, really directing my life to, to be of benefit in all my actions, in my speech, body, mind, activities, in a very natural way. And, and then we see that we can really completely face anything. And, and of course, the, it doesn't mean that the emotions go away like sadness or grief or anything like that. But we can completely um, f uh, face it. We see that our well-being is not dependent on, on, on that. It's such so natural to have all kinds of human emotion going on and, and that we, we, will, we will all face different um, challenges or different situations in our life that bring up many things for us. But then we have, we know exactly where to turn to for our well-being. And then we see that we can have an underlying um, well-being no matter in which situation we are, no matter in what, what um, data streams come up, very naturally. And that's where our power is completely. That's also where we more and more see clearly are not blindsided by all our data streams of sadness, of worry, or all these kinds of things that are so natural. We're giving our, uh, up our right to be a victim of these data streams. Very naturally, step by step. One moment at a time we take it. And it's amazing to know that we are not a victim anymore. We are not a victim of other people. We are not a victim of our data streams. We are not. I always thought I, I'm a victim of when somebody says something to me or I'm in, in a situation that evoked some data streams for me, it's like sadness or anger. I blamed it on this, the other people. I blamed it on the situation. But now I can take responsibility. I'm not a victim of any situation. I take complete responsibility for my data streams. I know exactly what I can do with them to have complete well-being. We don't have a responsibility for what data streams come up. So no matter what comes up for us, it, it doesn't mean anything. But we know we have a responsibility how we want to deal with them, how we want to perceive them. Do we want to give them energy and focus all our, our energy into that, that they can infect, affect us? Or do we want to take it one moment at a time, completely rest deeply there, seeing that we don't need to give them any fuel to do anything? to inform our actions or to, inf to um, diminish our, our sense of, of well-being and, and, and cap capa capacity and, and, and potency in the world. And it, it's, it's so natural that we, we compare each other with each other also, you know, like these data streams came up for me as well. You know, we are all here working together, oh, look at this, this person can do this so good, or that person, and I am not that good. <coughs> all these kinds of d data streams, and it's so good that these come up in, in our experience, because when we totally uh, allow them to be as, as they are, we see more and more of our power growing there. And, and to really not compare ourselves with other people and, and allowing that to be completely and, and just comparing ourselves with ourselves was very powerful for me. Seeing, seeing how I grew every year more and more in my own power and potency, to really focus on that, it's, it's such a relief. Because there we see that we more and more empower ourselves. There we see that we more and more step into that that, that is always present and always allows us to more and more expand into our capacity as a human being. <coughs>